hello and welcome to our channel in this video we are fixing vacuum tablet driver not found the error the tablet driver was not found occurs when your computer fails to fetch and use the driver which is installed for your vacuum tablet this error may occur on a number of occasions such as when the drivers are outdated not configured properly or there are some conflicts this problem is very common so nothing to worry about we will start by ending the vacuum service, update its driver and then move on to other techniques. Let's start trying our different solutions uh, for this video. Let's start with solution 1. First of all, we need to restart vacuum services. We will try restarting the vacuum service as our first step in solving the problem. This will restart the entire procedure. Refresh currently stored configurations and try detecting your tablet again. First of all, press Windows and R key to launch the run application and type services. Type services.msc and hit enter. This will bring up the services window. Now navigate through all the services until you find the one named Tablet Service Vacom. Right click on the service and then click on restart. You can see that in this image. Now check if the problem is solved. Our next solution is to update driver and reinstall the programs. If restarting the service doesn't work, we can try updating the driver. First we will remove the driver and then uninstall all related applications. Reinstalling the application and drivers will make sure that all misconfigurations are dealt and the computer will recognize the tablet like it was plugged for the first time. For that, press Windows and R key to launch the run application. Type devmgmt.msc in the dialog and press enter. In the device manager window, navigate to all the devices until you find the category human interface devices. But to find human interface devices expand it and locate the vacuum tablet right click on it and click on uninstall device now close this window press windows and r key and then type appviz.cpl now in this window navigate through all of the program until you find any application related to vacuum right click on this application and select uninstall do this for all the applications which you can find which are related to the tablet now close this window and press windows and s key type cmd right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator click on yes for the usc prompt once you are in the command prompt type mk link space forward slash j space inverted commas d colon backslash program files backslash tablet and then inverted commas do space inverted commas c colon backslash program files backslash tablet and then inverted commas and press enter in this command the custom location for program files is d drive you can replace d with whatever your drive happens to be head over to the vacom official website and download the latest drivers available save them to an accessible location as we will be accessing them later on now press windows and r key to launch the run application type devmgmt.msc and then hit enter locate the vacuum tablet from the list of devices right click on the device and click on update driver the new window will pop up asking you whether you want to update the drivers automatically or manually select the second option Browse to the location where you download the drivers and install them. Now restart your vacuum device and plug it back in. Now press 
Windows in R key, type services.msc and hit enter. Find the service, says Vacuum Professional Service, right click on the service and click on restart. Now check if the problem is solved. The third solution is to create a batch file if the first solution that we showed in this video works. If you have Vacuum tablet working every time you use method 1, you can create a batch file on your desktop. This will make it easy for you to restart the services without having to open the service and restart it manually again and again. Right click on your desktop and click on new and select new text document. In this document, open it, type at the rate of echo o double f which is echo of hit enter net stop w tablet service pro hit enter type timeout space forward slash t space 5 space forward slash no break and the written sign and then NUL. Hit enter net start W tablet service pro. Hit enter again timeout space forward slash T space two space forward slash no break then NUL. Now save this file on your desktop and make sure you name it as .bat. Select all files from the save as type. Type as let's say whatever the name is. I'll name it wtablet.bat and then save it. You will see this file placed on your desktop. You can right click on it and click on run as administrator and this will automatically perform the solution one that we shown in this video. If you're having difficulty updating drivers, make sure that there's no third party application monitoring your action such as antivirus and you can disable temporarily and then see what the outcome is. Now let's try a solution four. If all the Previous methods that we have covered in this video don't work. You should make sure that your tablet is connected properly to a working USB port. Try plugging the device into other ports present on your computer and check if it works there. If you have a spare USB hub lying around, plug it there too and check. If you are unsure about your USB ports, try plugging the tablet into another computer and check if it works there. If it does, troubleshoot through all the steps we have covered in this video again and figure out why your computer is giving the same problem. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.